Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about how to calibrate your um, back, the vacuum on your shrink line. And so as you can see um, in, in this system, the, uh, the back line is the vacuum line. It's connected to a, an, uh, an oil pump. And uh, what I've done is um, pulled one of the uh, finger traps, the cold finger traps, with liquid nitrogen. And that's going to do is prevent any, um, any volatile substances from going to the vacuum pump, but will instead get stuck here in the uh, um, the cold finger itself. And so um, this vacuum pump is also connected through here to a, uh, um, a gauge. And um, here's just an example of the gauge. And the way um, for it to be properly used, you have to calibrate it. And that's done by taking an Allen wrench, which I have just a second ago, an Allen wrench. Um, and uh, once you know the appropriate vacuum reading, you can um, insert it into the back and twist it uh, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Um, and um, so to determine the accurate reading that you want to set your vacuum gauge to, what we're going to use is a McLeod gauge. And it's spelled M-C-L-E-O-D. Um, so it's already hooked up to the vacuum line. And uh, we've ensured that all, there is no, uh, that all the mercury is down here. So there's no mercury anywhere up in the, um, the arms of it. So what we'll do is slowly, gently turn it over. And as the mercury rushes down, you can hear it go. And what we're going to base the reading on is the difference in these two levels of mercury. And so at zero, um, we'll be calibrated with the, um, the mercury on the right. We'll go ahead and line that up. We can see that this vacuum is reading 0 0.005 um, millimeters of mercury. All right, guys. Now that we're all calibrated, thanks for watching. What I'm going to do is uh, take the liquid nitrogen down and make sure to rinse the, uh, the cold finger into a mercury waste container. See you next time.